down your block, boy. Bass beating down your block, boy. All I hang around is block, boys. In my pocket, that's a knot, boy. Think you hot, but you not, boy. Bass beating down your block, boy. Bass beating down your block, boy. Bass beating down your block, stunning. What's up, YouTube? What's up, what's up? We're gonna check out New Rockstar's Captain America Brave New World trailer breakdown with Eric Voss. Uh, couple things. Why are we, why is this popping up in the, my reaction for um, Captain America Brave New World trailer not up also? Well, my hard drive um will not want to work anymore, so until I get that fixed, that is going to be a, I have a bunch of lost footage on there. So with that being said, um, that's why we're looking at this, um, behind the scene or not behind this, this breakdown. Um, I already reacted to it. I have the footage, but it's, it's on the hard drive and the hard drive don't want to work. So yeah. So with that being said, man, uh, we're going to check this out and get this working. So with that being said, let's get it. Let's Eric Vaught. Let's. Let's let Eric Voss break it down for us. Welcome back to New Rockstars. I'm Eric Voss, and this is a breakdown of the trailer for Captain America Brave Let's New go. World, the fourth Captain America film starring Anthony Mackie as Sam Wilson and Harrison Ford as President Ross coming February 2025. Let's go through this trailer shot by shot to okay, break down all the big details you missed. Here we go. Let's the trailer go. opens with Sam Wilson meeting President Thaddeus Ross. Wilson. Thanks for coming in. Well, thank you for the invite, sir. I have to admit, I'm still getting used to the new look. They said to lose the mustache or lose the election. Harrison Ford now plays Thaddeus Ross. Yeah. The character was previously played by William Hurt from William 2008's Hurt. Incredible Hulk. I, I, R.I.P. William Hurt. I really thought he was a really good General Ross. I like the, um, I like how he portrayed Ross. I felt like he was a perfect fit. 2016's Captain America Civil War and its smaller appearances in Infinity War, Endgame, and Black Widow. William Hurt passed away in 2022. Yeah. Harrison Ford has long been a figure suited to this genre though. In the 1990s, he shifted from Indiana Jones films to playing Jack Ryan in Tom Clancy movies like Patriot Games and Clear and Present Danger. And while this never happened in any of Harrison Ford's Clancy movies, Jack Ryan does become the US president at some point in the books. It gets crazy. But of course, mm. Harrison Ford then in 1997 appeared as the president in Air Force One. And that's the kind of like president equals action star nostalgia that I think Marvel is aiming for by putting Harrison Ford as president in this movie. Get off my plane. I was, say, was, originally I was about to say, I don't eager think, to bring back the super soldier. I was about to say, I, I'm surprised Harrison Ford hasn't played uh, a president in a movie yet the program that created captain america as he sought to contain the hulk in the 2008 film and he ended up unleashing emil blonsky as a juiced up super soldier who ended up taking an additional serum with bruce banner's blood that turned him into abomination and abomination uh, came back in she hulk but the scientists who aided I in that hate, process i hated how they they i hated how they did it in she hulk i hate how they did that abomination like that and how they did hulk this is the hulk this, this is was Samuel Stern. This is AKA the Mr. Hulk Blue, I grew up played with, played by man. Tim Blake Nelson, who returns in this, this movie the Hulk. as the green skin, I, I like. hopefully large headed, the leader. Oh. Yes, a full 17 years later, which is absolutely what? nuts to me. Now, in Captain America's Civil War, Thaddeus Ross was the Secretary of so State. So we're getting the leader also. The so Avengers. we're getting Red Hulk, the leader, Captain uh, uh, Sam Wilson as Captain America, and are we gonna get a are we gonna get a Hulk? To or is is the Hulk gonna show up? And I'm not talking about Professor Hulk. Are we gonna get actually get the Hulk, or are we are we ever gonna get him back or not? Like I want to know. After the Battle of Sokovia and Avengers: Age of Ultron, and what was then the latest conflict in Lagos that opened civil war. So when he says that we've had differences in the past, that's what he's referring to. At some point, Sam joined yeah. Natasha and Steve while they were basically government fugitives. And yeah. when Ross brings that up now, I love how Anthony Mackie just like lets his face drop. Like, yeah, I haven't forgotten. Now, last year in Secret Invasion, the U.S. president was established as President Ritson, played by Dermot yeah. Mulroney. But it seems like Thaddeus Ross has now beaten Ritson in the most recent presidential 
presidential election. We last mm, saw Sam Wilson okay. in The Falcon and the Winter Soldier in April 2021 when he was dealing with the weight of- I was about to say, I, like, I, I could have sworn somebody else was president, but I guess they had the election he won, so all right. Steve probably. Rogers giving him the shield at the end of Endgame, and he teamed up with Bucky Barnes to fight the Super Soldier Serum-empowered Flag Smashers, as well as US agent John Walker. That series ended with Sam embracing the title of Captain America with a new suit built for him by the Wakandans, but this movie's gonna put him in an even newer, no. bluer suit, yet we will see some early mission that will show him in a version of the white suit from the Wakandans. Okay. The whole idea of vibranium versus a more powerful metal is going to be an important issue in this movie. As Sam enters the White House, President Ross Are stands to between be portraits of James Mantino? Madison and Thomas Jefferson. On the far left, it's a portrait of Dolly Madison, who saved some important founding documents when the British burned the White House in the War of 1812. And on the far right, John Tyler, who took over the presidency after William Henry Harrison died after just a few months in office. And I kind of feel like these two on the far left and right might tell us something about this movie, like a White House being destroyed and a very, very short term US president. Mm -hmm. Sam and Ross joking about his changed appearance reminds us of the moment in Iron Man 2 when Tony Stark and James Rhodes had that line. Look, it's me, I'm here, deal with it, let's I move on. Making a reference to the recasting <laughs> in that Senate hearing, Thaddeus Ross then gives a speech to supporters behind bulletproof glass panels. And while modern presidents often do this for big outdoor settings as Secret Service protocol, uh, the fact that these panels are so close and the camera focuses on them so clearly just tells us how unstable things are in America in the MCU right now. All the campaign signs read, ready, Ross. The others show his photo rendered in an artsy way, kind of like a monochromatic version of the Obama 2008 Hope poster, but we don't see any vice president listed on any of the signs. I assume this would be like Ross's victory speech. Now Ross continues. You and I. So there's not going to be a vice president? agreed in the past. I want to make another run at making Captain America an official military position. And if we disagree on how to manage the situation. I'm excited. I'm excited for this. Work with me, Sam. Now, some inserts here hint at some military action. Let's break it down. It's got to be Japan, Japanese right? Japanese F-35s. Yes, I knew it. And on the radar screen, it. we see what looks like I was saying, I was saying in the trailer that, in my trailer reaction, that, uh, what's it called? That, um, it was Japanese fighter pilots, uh, fighter jets. These so fighter jets heading toward the fifth fleet in what looks like so I'm, a I'm, hostile So action. my guess is it's whatever is happening is near close by to Japan. Yes, they might be on a mission together, so, but why would they be flying toward a U.S. aircraft carrier? Hey, hey, Timu, Timu, um, the, the Celestial that was from uh, Eternals is going to, is what is what was in the trailer was in the trailer and is gonna be in the movie so i'm curious how what's gonna go on with that the japanese and the u.s are allies both in the real world and what seems like at the beginning of this movie so what's going on here well i'll tell you what they're fighting over tiamat yes they are here in the indian ocean that is the corpse of the dead celestial tiamat mm. from the eternals film back in 2021 this guy's technically just been sitting everybody been here asking dormant in the indian ocean everybody was just asking like what, what are they gonna do with it are they just gonna not talk about it a big big ass celestial that's just poking out of the ocean like we just not gonna talk about it or not for sense and rarely ever addressed in the mcu but the rumors are true we will be returning to tiamat in this movie the fact that it's japan though is noteworthy because in the cinema con footage that we saw earlier this year there was a line from thaddeus ross where he credits sam and joaquin torres for recovering the discovery of the millennium stolen from a japanese mining site i speculated that, that metal could be adamantium, adamantium. and they will be Ooh. recovering its raw form from this giant corpse okay. Maybe after the Japanese refined it, Giancarlo Esposito's character stole it, and it was recovered for the Japanese and the Americans by Sam and Joaquin. And that could be why we see Sam with Ross and that Japanese leader later. Geopolitics are going to be realigned by the discovery of adamantium, as all these okay. countries are scrambling to get their hands on a valuable, weaponizable metal that would be stronger than Wakandan vibranium. That's why we saw the scenes with Val and Toby Ziegler and Black Panther Wakanda forever. Later shots show Sam and Joaquin both on this mission, and I think that might even be Sam crashing through maybe an American F-22? July is for nerds. There's so much good nerd stuff going on right now between Comic-Con and Deadpool and the Acolyte. They always have some cool merch. Shout out to, uh, to the new rock stars.
here is a shot of Shir Haas Shira as Haas. Ruth Batsarov, who this movie is described Ruth as Batsarov. a former Black Widow spy and now mm. a high-ranking government official. In the comics, she's an Israeli superheroine named Sabra. I don't know how much they're going to go into that in this movie. I think yeah. they've kind of revised her origin story to be one of those Black Widow agents that was part of the network that we saw at the end of the 2016 Black Widow film. In this shot, she's sitting across from someone with a big old trembling arm. I think this might be our first shot of Thaddeus Ross as Red Hulk. She is staring him down unafraid. Maybe she is the official who gives Ross the serum. So yeah, let's talk about it here. This trailer ends with the money shot of Red Hulk facing down Sam Wilson in Washington, D.C., catching and throwing down his vibranium shield. I love that the trailer just goes. How is Sam going to fight the Red Hulk, man? How is he gonna fight the Red Hulk? Like, I'm not saying he won't be able to do it, but like, the if anybody doesn't know Red Hulk, the difference between Hulk and Red Hulk, other than the color, is Daddy's Ross still has his mind as the Hulk, as the Red Hulk. The Hulk doesn't have Banner's mind. The Hulk is an alternate uh, personality of of Bruce Banner that just has gamma radiation. His angry side has gamma radiation, so. I'm curious, like, how how this fight's gonna go. I was ahead to reveal this because it leaked in like McDonald's Happy Meal toys. So we've all basically known that it's gonna happen in this movie. I now it's know. peak. I Cherry didn't. Blossom. I didn't know Red Hulk was showing up. I I didn't know they leaked it. That's it's he's in here, me. and it's just stunning. And this movie's gonna release on Valentine's Day. Those will oh. be starting to be in bloom in the DC area. Also, I think that might be a cherry blossom branch in the pot on the table in the blue room when the president meets with Sam at the beginning of the trailer. So I think earlier scenes this way will establish this final showdown. So Thaddeus Ross becomes Red Hulk in the World War Hulk storyline. So Marvel Ooh. fans have really been expecting Ross to take this step eventually ever since 2008. But why will he become Red Hulk in this movie? Who knows? It could be a move of desperation inspiration from a former soldier who wants to handle things himself maybe there will be a health issue that ross was hiding and he takes experimental treatments for because in that 2016 civil war movie he did hint that he had like a heart stint removed later trailer shots show ross speaking in the garden outside the white house followed by soldiers firing upwards at something and then here a huge part of the white house implodes now the official poster art shows a giant red hulk hand clutching a captain america shield and his fingers are starting to bend the vibration so we see the importance of needing a sturdier stronger metal than Vibranium, and that's why Adamantium is going to be so important. And speaking of two video game characters just facing down in a cool looking setting, we have this awesome new Choose Your Fighter shirt design I that thought, you can I get thought, at Nerd. I thought they were what we're doing here. Their... Now, really, this trailer is a mix of CinemaCon footage and new footage shot in recent months in the reshoot. So we also now see Giancarlo Esposito's character. Esposito yep. has hinted that his character will be someone who returns in the Marvel series after this. And Scooper, okay. My Time to Shine Hello, claimed that he is playing GW Bridge, or George Washington Bridge, George who's a mercenary who does S.H.I.E.L.D. Black Ops missions, but also joins Cable in the group Six Pack. He was okay. originally one of these early 90s figures introduced by Rob Liefeld and Fabiana Cheza in the lineup of Deadpool, Cable, X-Force comics. You know, he's just someone who always got like a lot of straps and bandoliers and big old guns. So when Giancarlo says he's going to show up in a show after this, it could be someone connected to the world of the X-Men Ooh. or just any kind of show where there's arms dealings and specifically adamantium. So then the shot of Thaddeus Ross presenting in a White House ballroom with screens around him depicting a world map with sites highlighted. There's the US, France, and India with larger blips in them, but then stronger pings that might just be bases or world capitals of allies in this joint mission to recover adamantium and control its use. So we see a little dot on Iceland, on Portugal, and then either the Canary Islands or Madeira off the coast of Morocco there, then Tunisia in Northern Africa, Austria, and then up to Sweden, and then Ukraine. Don't mention the war. Afghanistan. Don't mention the war. Vietnam. I mentioned it once, but I think I got away with it. Mongolia and Somalia, and then in a later shot, that's definitely Australia and New Zealand. Now we see cameras, so I assume this is being televised, but I wonder right. if the bigger sites, like the orange rings, might be the sites where adamantium deposits were found, because mm. Tiamat has been with the Earth since as long as humans have been around. So it may right. just be that Tiamat's emergence is what caused us to discover this metal that's been under our feet all this time. And I've said in a lot of videos all before, it is did. just interesting that Wakanda Vibranium came from a meteorite and that this substance would have come from something from the cosmos. That maybe both Vibranium and Adamantium were gifts from Marvel's gods of the Celestials to like 
empower and select Earth to be more fit to survive than other planets would be in the cosmos. Now, when it comes to this presentation, we later see Sam, Isaiah, and Joaquin at a global unity Joaquin, summit at the White name, House. Joaquin. And the photographer in the foreground has a green hand. So this Whoa. must be Samuel Stearns, the leader. And he's posing as a media personnel to trigger what happens next here. We see Sam sitting with Joaquin. And by the way, Joaquin's played by Danny Ramirez from Top Gun Maverick. He was Sam's US Air Force pilot buddy who becomes Falcon in the Falcon and the Winter Soldier. So, and they're sitting next to Isaiah so, Pratt. So the dude's playing the leader so is he using some type of device that controls Isaiah Bradley or some like type of like high peak high pitch sound that'll control him or something Carl Lumbly who we also met in the Falcon Winter Soldier he was a former government super soldier aka the black Captain America who was cruelly tortured and imprisoned and covered up by the US government until a nurse took pity on him and helped him break out at the end of the Falcon Winter Soldier he seemed to be in a better place he's taking his grandson Elijah to visit the Captain America exhibit at the Smithsonian but now Which, are they gonna do anything with Elijah are they gonna do anything with him like, cause you're doing the Young Avengers, or yeah, you're doing the Young Avengers. Are you are y'all gonna use Isaiah Bradley, or are you not using Isaiah, or not Isaiah Bradley, his son? Are are they gonna use Iron Patriot or not? I want to know. Like. In this movie, something happens here to trigger him or into a kind son, of not his son, his grandson. brainwash, taking a Secret Service agent's gun and firing at the president. And we see how Isaiah still has his enhanced strength. He throws this guy across the room. Now, the Jeez. CinemaCon footage indicated that this was an audio frequency that plays throughout the room and it okay. brainwashes him and that Isaiah that won't sense. be the only person affected. Sense. Other Secret Service agents will as that. well. And we see Sam fighting with one of those guys. So there's going to be a big mess. And we're going to follow Isaiah through the White House. He leaps through the window of the same room that we saw earlier. So Sam tells Ross in the situation room that his inner circle has been compromised and then we see sam and joaquin in a different scene finding a grimy lab with medical equipment a chair with straps a gurney with straps and a red light over it all so likely this is where they turned ross into red, red hulk. hulk now here this is a part of the reshoot footage where sam jumps and kicks two guys and rolls to stick the superhero landing we saw him do this same move in the opening lagos mission in captain america civil war but there he used his wings to do it now he doesn't need his wings in the falcon and the winter soldier sam did not inject the super soldier serum right. but maybe he will inject the version of it in this movie i mean he is going up against a hulk i feel like i don't know how i feel about it like i it would be cool to have him get that that somewhat of a super super soldier serum but in the comics his whole thing was i'm not i'm not gonna juice up and that was the whole that's what i was hoping <clears throat> that's what i was hoping captain america or uh, uh, Falcon and Winter Soldier was going to be. I was hoping that they were going to fight over the mantle of Captain America and Sam, the whole, they're going to make, I thought they were going to make a whole big deal of uh, Sam not taking the serum and uh, uh, U.S. Soldier um, taking the serum and it would have been a fight and, and uh, Somehow, I th I think somehow Sam would have won and would have been Captain America. But I, I was hoping that was going to happen, but they didn't do that. So I was just like, I, that's what made me a little disappointed in the show. I still like it. It's still a really good show in my opinion. But uh, the choice they chose to go with the story uh, disappointed me. So I was just like, uh he needs it. Then another shot of Samuel Stearns, Tim Blake Nelson, with a bit of green on the back of his head as he says global powers are shifting. He went by Mr. Blue when he was corresponding with Bruce Banner in the 2008 Hulk film, and he's wearing a hat here. I just hope we give him a slightly enlarged head. Please, please, please. <laughs> Now, often paired with Ruth is actress Lahosa Rokemore. And I'm sorry, I'm trying to say that correctly because she's named after the Lahosa people she, of South Africa. Is she, a, and they is have she from a Wakandan sound. Her character is soldiers? not named yet, but I wonder if she could be a Dora Milaje embedded yeah, with the U.S. government and reporting to the Wakandan Milaje? government the U.S. attempts to develop adamantium weaponry that they're trying to use to overpower Wakandan by... I like that. I like that. Secret, have an agent within the government. Vibranium. Right. We do not see Liv Tyler as Betty Ross in this film, but she is confirmed to return and set photos really? showed her at a funeral. And we see that funeral in this trailer really? and i'm wondering if this is steve rogers funeral or maybe a ceremonial funeral because they still can't find him and maybe they're just assuming he's dead i'm loving all the shots of sam's new blue suit in this trailer because they're keeping the wings now and actually they make the wings bigger and like more feathery shaped like they really do look like the wings of an eagle and it's just so cool that sam can always find his own way to express his patriotism as he faces red hulk in the dc cherry blossoms we see that he has a new version of the drone red wing as well to go with his new suit and the fact that they're using more 
more avian imagery to design his suit. It almost makes it forgivable that they turn Red Wing into a robot drone. Mm -hmm. I want Red Wing to be an actual bird like he is in the comics, but it is very cool here to see him breaking the sound barrier in that Tiamat fight over the Indian Ocean because it's I think like that's what we saw fire in fight. the early flights of Iron Man suit in the yeah. first film. This movie is going to rock. Look, I know I'm February excited. 2025 could be a very difficult time for our country. I'm excited. Like, I, like, like, I know there's certain some there's some Marvel movies that have been misses lately, but after Deadpool and Wolverine and and then having this trailer come out, I'm excited. I'm excited for like Marvel is finding their their right steps back. Um, to what made them successful. So. And seeing a drama with a crazy president turning into a Red Hulk, hmm. smashing through the White House, might just hit differently at that point. Or this movie could be what like fixes America. It could be the escapism we all need. But announcement, yeah. tomorrow we are going to have a very special video on the channel. Many of you have been asking, hey Eric, what X-Men movies do I really need to rewatch before Deadpool and Wolverine? And since that movie might be bringing in characters from Daredevil and Blade. All right. Um... Shout out to Eric Voss. Shout out to New Rock Stars crew. Um, we always appreciate New Rock Stars around here. We appreciate their breakdown of these trailers and movies, man. So shout out to them, man. So um, if you like the video, if you appreciate, if you you know like what you, if you if, just like the video and you watch this far, like the video, comment, subscribe. I appreciate everybody that's subscribing and showing love. Um, um, yeah, man. We're growing, um, you know, there's some stuff that happened, you know, behind the scenes, technical difficulties, but these uh, struggles is helping grow my channel and helping me grow as well. So I appreciate everybody that comes through, checks us out. Um, yeah, man, with that being said, I'm out of here. Deuces.